Hello everyone, this is HTJ Halloween, and today I am going to be unboxing and setting up the one and only Collector from Spirit Halloween. Alright guys, I am super duper excited for this one because this guy is absolutely massive and he is really, really cool. But before I jump into unboxing him, I do first just want to shout out my Instagram at hgj underscore Halloween. If you guys want to go ahead and check me out over there, there will be a link down in the description if you want to get more uh, regular and consistent content from me. I post stuff over there of every time I buy a prop, every time I buy some Vince Spirit, when I visit Spirit, I sometimes post in store pics and definitely keep you guys up to date on the video schedule if you want to get some behind the scenes stuff with that. So definitely, if you want to see more from me, go ahead and check that out, link in the description. But I am super duper excited to be unboxing this guy. Now, I know he might not be everyone's favorite. Some of you guys may really, really love him. He's not necessarily my favorite. I mean, he was ranked pretty low on my top 10. However, this year, the top 10 is like all pretty damn good and the collector is still really really awesome i mean he is a really really classic reaper vibe going on for him and um he is also really freaking massive i mean look at this box i can't even really fit it in the frame um and i should have scissors somewhere yep got my scissors because this guy does have tape holding down the top of the box and this is gonna make for a pretty long uh, unboxing. I think it's gonna be kind of a lot of parts um, and it's probably gonna be a pretty long video. So stay tuned. Um, if long videos aren't your thing, you might wanna click off because um, I'm gonna have a lot to set up here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into cutting this thing open and popping open this box. I haven't peeked in, obviously, cause the tape is still on there. I bought him really recently, but by the time you guys are seeing this, I mean, might be a couple weeks since I bought him, but uh, by at, at the time of filming, I just bought him yesterday, actually. Those of you on my Instagram will have seen that I bought him and will know what day I did. Uh, I actually pre-film like all of these videos, so it's kind of, you never know what date, what date it really is. Oh my goodness gracious. I told you guys, I told you. Look at how complicated whatever the heck is going on in this box is. <laughs> Look. Make sure you guys can see. That is inside your collector box. A whole freaking pile of a bunch of parts. Um, let's go ahead and work through it. So I actually lifted up the camera here. Hopefully it gives a good angle, but it's uh, unlike the other ones that we've seen so far. It doesn't have like the other compartment that pulls out. So I'm just gonna do the classic pulling everything out of the top of the box situation here because it seems like that's gonna work best for him. All right, so ooh, what in the world is all of this? Everything, okay. Uh-oh, everything's kind of connected here. On second thought, maybe I should have had just done it on the ground because this whole mechanism is kind of pulling everything up. But here's the bag. I'm going to try to pull this whole mechanism out without getting everything. Let's do this. Here's the arms. Look at that. Skelly hands. These are poseable, so they look kind of dumb right now, but I can change them into whatever I want them to be. Uh, this one right here. hand. It's all bent up, but I'll fix that later. And now, okay. Uh, so much stuff and going on here. Legs, I think. Another leg. How am I going to put this back in the box? Like, even they have it just freaking thrown all up in there. Will he fit down here? I don't even know. This is not even supposed to be, this is like not even supposed to be connected. These are two parts. See? It's stuck on something. It's not stuck. Okay, so this is some main mechanism. It looks like it's got the rotating motor and everything like that and the control box. This looks to be seasonal visions. Uh, don't quote me on that, but the base is why it's such a big box because the base takes up like, this is the size of the box right here. Holy crap. Do you guys see how giant this base is? I've never seen a base this big. This is like the same size as the collector's base. I mean, no, 
This is the collector. This is the same size as Crouchy's base. So two giant props this year. It's insane. And it has the hip loop zip tied to it. Kind of funky, but... Okay, down here should be the fun part. I think we have the head down here. Here's a clothing piece. Big old creepy cloth outfit right there. And then down in here... Nope, this is another... What is this? Back plate? I'm assuming this is like his hump back right there. Uh, and then the head is down here. Oof, look at this. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. He is really cool. You know, he's kind of growing on me a little bit, too. I, like, he wasn't my favorite, but look at how big that face is. And you, you guys, you aren't even going to believe how well he is incorporated into our haunted house this year. It's a lot bigger than I remember it being, because I don't think I've seen him since flagship. No, I haven't. So this is, let me make sure you guys get a good view. This is our giant reaper head. It is made out of foam. So I don't think I knew that before. I thought it was hard plastic. And then here is the big cone piece that sticks out like that. Let me just dump out the rest here. Um, we have a lot of foam. Here's our instructions right there. And then also we have the adapter back here, probably the smallest part in this freaking box. I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can see me put this on here a little bit well, a little bit better. These are both labeled B, these two big leg bowls. This one is also labeled B as well, as you can see. So I don't think it really matters which one goes where. Um, I'm gonna try to put them like it looked in the picture. Okay, wait, so they go, hold up. If they go like this, then he's like really far back. He's kind of really leaning far, far backward on the base. So the snap lock is actually on the back of the pole. I didn't expect that, but we'll just go with it. We'll figure it out. I think seven feet will. What the heck? Okay. So now we got the legs in. This is the next piece that we need to go on. And I think um, the holes are on the back right here. Okay, so it's going this way. These can be sometimes a bit tough to get in, especially when it comes to seasonal visions. They're kind of like, stuff bends weird, you know what I mean? So let's, okay, that one went in easy. Ooh, turn it, there we go, okay. Now it did pop all the way out, but see, stuff does bend a little bit funky and that has to go over the whole shoulder thing and down to where you see the hip bracket right here slides in these two holes once again it's bent a little bit funky as usual but there we go okay those go all the way in now is already the time to put the entire clothing piece over this big frame got an f label here i'll take that off oof almost fell over on me Okay, there we go. Heck. Guys, I don't even know what's going on right now. Because there's like Velcro, but it's kind of like you can't undo it because it is gonna like separate this creepy cloth. But I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm trying to get this. Oh, it, this is not gonna go. This is not gonna fall all the way over because it just doesn't have a big enough hole. So this, I guess this just needs to come over like this. I don't even know. I'm just gonna leave this as is and figure out what's next. Right there, classic seasonal visions fork. And this goes right in there. 
There's a wire coming from this arm that needs to be plugged in. Oh, it does fit into this one. Okay, they both are the same. Oh, it's like, it can't be bent like that. I gotta bend it out. I don't know how it got like that. But there we go. Now it's all the way in. And okay. Arms are in after like 10 minutes. Gonna have to cut some stuff out. They do have it fed all the way up through. Okay. So I don't even know if you can see that, but there's a little wire coming up through the arm and there's a wire coming up through the torso all the way up from the control box and those have to snap in together so your bag will move. So the burlap sack literally just attaches to him by posing the hands. It's not even like a hook or anything. It's just posable hands. So I'm gonna squeeze the fingers together, bend them a bit upward, and then just like maybe wanna have the this is really cool though, this whole idea. Him holding this bag. And then he does hold onto it pretty tight. Like see, he's holding it. And then there's a wire coming from the bag and then needs to be attached to this wire coming from the arm. It's not very hidden. So there is the bag in his hand. I turned it just a little bit though, so that that wire is kind of like behind it and out of the way, but it looks really cool. Ooh, I keep bumping it. It looks really cool, but it's also absolutely huge. The biggest thing I've ever had down here by far. Okay guys, I'm a stupid idiot. He has an entire back plate that needs to be put up there. So, I mean, I should have known, like, what the heck is this going to be used for other than that? Um, but here it is. Ah! This fell on me. Can't see. Oh my God, this back goes up really high. There we go. What the heck? It looks like a freaking eggshell on his back. Hold that all over his eggshell. <laughs> Look at his back. It looks so goofy. What? This creepy cloth is the most freaking annoying thing. It's just all bent up weird, but I'll figure that out later. Okay, this. The creepy cloth situation is an absolute mess, but we're pretty much done. I just have to get the head on, so that's exciting. And this up here is an absolute mess. Oh my god, is he even gonna. Okay, oh! Here's the head. Oh, the lighting just got bad, but. Oh, he fits. Look at that. His head goes in like that. Whoa, look at this. Okay, I did up those wires and also he was looking kind of goofy because this hood thing wasn't up. I almost forgot about that. So it definitely looks better now that that is there. And I know I've been filming the same thing over and over again, but here he is looking Absolutely massive. He takes up both doors behind him. Uh, I mean, he's a lot of just gray, but you know, he is still pretty freaking cool. And now I actually have to just grab this rope right here needs to go around his torso. This does not need to be done in any particular fashion. It just says to style as needed. And it is just a little rope to go around the waist. So I like that they added that because it kind of adds a different color because he's all just this creepy cloth gray. Hopefully you guys can see this good. So like that. And then I'm gonna do a shoelace knot, a bow knot. I feel like that would look, it's like a loose bow. Look like he's kind of tied up, you know what I mean? And, um, I like that. I think that's a nice added touch. Okay, I pulled it up on his waist just a little bit more and doesn't that just make him look so much better instead of being this big gray blob? Like he actually has some shape. It kind of like ties it around his waist so it, it 
it makes it kind of poof out at the bottom and gives him like, you know, it's kind of like up against his legs a bit. Guys, after seeing this guy in person again, my opinion on him has greatly improved. I mean, he is just so freaking massive. And I didn't remember him being that large compared to Crouchy. Like I thought Crouchy was like 10 times or not 10, that's an exaggeration, but like, you know, one and a half times the size of this guy. Like I just felt like Crouchy was way freaking larger. And so, I mean, either I'm remembering incorrectly or Crouchy is just a beast because I mean, maybe he was on a bigger platform or something. But Crouchy, I remember being just like way over my head. His hands were so huge. But this is like the biggest thing I've ever seen. So I don't know, Crouchy might not fit in here. But let's go ahead and plug him in. I've got him on sensor mode. His IR sensor's up in his nose. And I also have him, his volume fully up. So ooh, it's kind of pulling a little bit there, but that's okay. It might be kind of loud. I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous and excited. Once I take your Whoa. soul, the body will die. I collect this now unneeded flesh to feed my army of demons so we can hunt for more. <laughs> wow. Okay, so his audio is kind of low. Okay, he turns back to center like that. Saw the bag moving. You think you're special because you're human? Oh, yeah. You're just raw meat for my demons to use. They're not building a better human. Movement. Pretty good, actually. They're building a more powerful demon. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and setup on the collector. He is really, really cool. And even though he was low on my top 10 list, I just love every prop from Spirit this year because this guy is still uh, one of my favorites. I mean, even though I have so many favorites, but he is just really, really cool, super large, awesome Reaper look. And uh, I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's not a review. But anyways, I just was like really surprised as to how large this thing is once I put it together. Setup was honestly not that difficult. You guys saw me struggle a little bit with stupid things. But I was just kind of rushing through. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory like I said in the beginning. But anyways, let me know what you think of the collector down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. Uh, there will be a link to my Instagram, like I said, down in the description below. If you want to get more content from me, there will also be a link to Spirit Halloween's website where you can get this guy. Um, or anything else for the Halloween season, that is the place to shop. And if you buy anything on that link, you'll be helping out me and the channel at no extra cost to you. And in fact, there will be an up to date 20% off exclusive HTJ Halloween discount promo code to make these prices a little bit less scary. And I do highly recommend the collector for the 2019 season. And lastly, there will also be a link to the HTJ Halloween merch shop. If you guys want to get any HTJ Halloween designs, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, I hope you guys are all having a great one, and I will see you guys in the next video.